Today, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg brought his star power to BYU, where he spoke with students about technology, education, and, of course, social media. He was invited to BYU to speak by Senator Orrin Hatch. ABC 4's Kimberly Houck was there. He spoke a lot about dreaming up how to use the Internet more to both connect and communicate with others. But when he created Facebook, he says he had no idea what it would become today, a service half a billion people are using. Speaking to nearly 11,000 BYU students. It's an honor to be here with all of you guys today. Facebook creator Mark Zuckerberg made it clear, if you want to be successful in life, follow your passion. I think you have to really love and believe in what you're doing. At 26 years old, he's the youngest billionaire on this planet. Yet even he says he never could have dreamed this big. His creation helped spark a revolution in the Middle East. A lot of the founding principles of, of Facebook are that if people have access to more information um, and, and can be more connected, then that will hopefully make the world better. As a sophomore at Harvard University studying computer science, Zuckerberg created Facebook and changed the way the world began to communicate and connect with each other. When we used to go out and you know, get pizza and hang out at, at local places and talk about like how different the world was going to be, when people could connect more through the internet and could share more of what they wanted and how that transparency and making the world more open and connected would be really transformative to a lot of things. But the rapid growth of Facebook is stunning. When the service reached 100 million users, Zuckerberg admits even he had to take a step back and think. Well, we had this idea that it could be more, and we didn't know what to focus on. The focus became connecting people through the sharing of information. Again, Facebook now has 500 million users, and Zuckerberg only employs 2,000 people to run his company, three of which are BYU graduates. Kimberly Houck, ABC4 News at 9 on the CW30. Now, you might have noticed Zuckerberg was wearing his signature hoodie, and so what the universities here in Utah did as a way of thanking him for speaking at BYU, every school in the state gave him their college hoodie to take home. Also in Provo, the